What do you think of Danby versus GED humidifiers? It is easier to find a Danby dehumidifier for sale than a GE, but it is easier to find service for the GE dehumidifier. Danby is supposed to be a top-of-the-line European brand. When you walk through the beauty aisle in the US, you see signs proclaiming the latest innovation from Europe. When you go to Europe, you see advertisements shouting new from America. So a Euro Grey humidifier is not worth the cost. Danby and GE are cost competitive, but you're more likely to find a GE model on sale. Danby dehumidifiers have a direct drain option. Good, because they leak as often as a frigid air fridge. Danby uses a refrigerant that does not hurt the ozone layer. That's pretty much a requirement to even sell something with a condenser these days. That's like saying it is Energy Star rated, John Stossel got horribly inefficient designs Energy Star approved by submitting the paperwork and paying the fee. Danby has an auto restart. That causes it to start on its own, sometimes, even though the condenser is not running. That'll kill its energy efficiency. And it can be a fire hazard, if the unit is constantly running or restarting on its own. What do you think of GED humidifiers? Some models like the ADER65LQ hardly ever work and regularly need to be replaced. The condensers, compressors and evaporator coils conk out. I hope they fix it. GE's default solution to a bad dehumidifier is to offer you a voucher to buy a new one. However, if you buy the same model, you could get three or four lemons in a row. That's only supposed to regularly happen if you are playing the slots. GED humidifiers are often half off, because no one wants to buy them. Then I won't buy one either.